Hello, my friend. Hello there. Olga Sorokina is here, and welcome to my second live stream in English here on Instagram. I'm so glad that you're joining. Um, well, this live stream is will be all about interior sketching, and in particular, my top ten rules of sketching. So I will read them out loud from my book, uh, The Sketch. I'm the author. You can easily uh, grab that book on Amazon.com. You can find it by simply putting in search the sketch, interior design drawing. All right, so let's begin. My 10 rules of sketching. Uh, my rule number one, and it's kind of foundation of everything. And I call, I named it Steel Concrete. To be sure, without a concrete knowledge of perspective, nothing is going to work out, and any beautiful things won't do the job. Without a strong foundation, you will get nowhere. Concentrate on the frontal and angle perspectives and the architect's method. Uh, I mean frontal uh, and uh, angle perspectives, these are one and two point perspectives and I cover this uh, topic of um, uh, basics of perspective drawing in my free, completely free online mini course challenge, uh, which you can <coughs> uh, find on my website www.olgaart888.com So the same name as you can see here on Instagram olgaart888.com uh, It's actually it's a completely self-paced mini course which uh, consists of uh, seven short lessons The lessons are really very short and sweet um, uh, They are all about 5 to 10 to 15 max uh, minutes uh, and I they are full of knowledge. I literally show you uh, the camera is on top and I'm recording my hands and uh, I'm showing you guys how I draw interiors in one and two point perspectives. So if you're interested, this free online mini course, you can access it anytime. Just go to my website and check it out. All right, my rule number two from my 10 rules of sketching is horizon and by horizon i mean uh, horizon line eye level yeah this this uh, virtual line which is uh, which appears in our interior drawings it's basically a line it's a level from which we are standing and watching uh, the interior so all right rule number two horizon remember that the horizon has effect on the general impression from your sketch whether the horizon is at the eye level of a seated person or at the two meter level above the floor, it's absolutely critical for the whole of the drawing and for how different planes are revealed. That's it. All right, the rule number three is composition. A well chosen angle view and the knowledge of composition are most crucial. They will contribute greatly to your sketch. They will help you to make your project elegant and allow you to represent it to the best effect, help you to find best places for different tones on a leaf, and will give a general impression of your professionalism. Yes, guys, <laughs> rule number three is really crucial. All right, rule number four uh, 3D effect. To be sure, knowledge and application of the rules of light and shadow, the aerial perspective, tonal graduations and texturing is a key thing. It is these things that give volume and expressiveness to a drawing. Rule number five, eyefulness. Examine as many works and drawings as possible. Learn wherever you can. YouTube classes, drawing exhibitions, Read books on design, drawing and illustration. You have to get an eyeful of visual images, become satiated with them for your own new and unique style to take shape. 
<laughs> and I'm smiling because I just uh, uh, recalled this Pinterest thing and uh, I, I know, I, I believe that everyone now is, uh, especially uh, people from creative industries, from interior design world and interior sketching are crazy and fashion, of course fashion sketching and fashion um, in general, we are all crazy about Pinterest and I literally can spend hours <laughs> sitting there and enjoying uh, enjoying this visual conf uh, content that's what I call eyefulness you need to um, put in your uh, brain as many images of beautiful interiors beautiful interior drawings as possible all right my rule number six materials use quality materials there must not be a great lot of them but they will be of high quality for a successful start, you will need 7 to 10 colors of professional markers, which three of them being tone of, tones of gray. A pencil, a black liner, a white pen, an eraser and paper leaf. Later on, when you start to be infatuated with sketching, don't pitch pennies and go buy Copic kits. And that's true, guys, because my personal favorite is Copic markers and I even prepared them. This one is Copic, um, Copic Xiao, Copic Chao. Uh, there are 36 colors in there, and I really, I really love it. Uh, this particular one, it's, uh, it's with um, a brush tip, so I can show you. So this is on the one side, white nib, and this is the other brush uh, nib, and this is my absolute favorite nib. All right, going on. Uh, number, uh, rule, my rule number seven is techniques. The classics of sketching will always be in high esteem. This is watercolor, Chinese ink, colored pencils, less frequently pastel. But the experience tells me that the easiest, quickest and the most effective tool in the interior sketching is specialized markers. <laughs> They give wonderful results, even if this is the first time you draw. My rule number eight, masters. If you want to become professional in sketching as fast as possible, then learn from the masters of this craft. Take note of their devices, copy their technique to create your own unique and inimitable style on that rich foundation of knowledge. And you know, guys, in this, uh, in this very book, I have a chapter uh, which, which is literally, its name is Masters, and um, it's all about gurus of sketching, as I call them. In this chapter, I will tell you about four world gurus of sketching and will acquaint you with their techniques. You will also learn why all artistic academies teach their students to do copies of the works of old masters and of what use they may, this may be to us. So here I go over four, uh, four masters. So the first one is Richard Chadwick, and I believe uh, some of you already know him, Richard Chadwick, uh, Sergio Rodriguez. Sergio is um, a great master from Brazil. Then I go over Albert Hadley. I think you know this interior designer, decorator, decorator from England. And the fourth one is Michelle Morlan, a wonderful woman a sketcher from Canada. All right, so continue. Uh, number nine, my rule of sketching number nine, customers. Know that for a fact that all of your customers are guided by their emotionality. Emo emotionality, <laughs> I hope I, I'm pronouncing this word right. Emotionality, uh, when they make decisions, that's why your portfolio side sketches must be savory for the eye. Access your portfolio one more time and ask yourself, would I buy it? If the answer is no, burn it and make a splendid one instead. <laughs> and my last rule of sketching, the rule number 10 is, yes, you guys, I, I, I think you guessed, it's everyday practice, everyday practice. Draw every day, become a skilled hand, train yourselves to judge by eye, 
for if you start practicing every day for approximately 30 minutes, it will take you about three weeks to achieve high mastery of hand and your pictures will show confidence, which is the main quality of a professional, since you can always tell a pro from a beginner by the confidence of lines, hatching and the confidence comes with experience. And that's, that's really true. So you guys, um, these were my 10 rules of sketching. If you're interested in learning basics of perspective in interior sketching, go check my free, completely free online uh, mini course um, on my website www.olgaart888.com and if you're interested in my book you can easily find it on amazon.com by simply uh, putting in search this name the sketch or my name Olga Sorokina or interior design drawing something of this well you guys I hope you enjoyed this live stream uh, ask me any questions regarding interior sketches in the comments below. If you're watching this video on my YouTube channel, which is Olga Sorokina, ask once again in the comments below and check all the links to my free mini course to this e uh, to, the, to this book on Amazon in the description below this video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed one more time and uh, I'll see you in my next live stream very soon. Bye for now and have a wonderful day ahead.